traders Okana here. I'm going to talk about moving average convergence divergence tool, which is the same thing as MACD or MACD, as some people may, might call it. So it consists of a histogram, a couple of moving averages, one is fast and one is slow. Uh, you might remember one of our videos from uh, before about MACD, best of uh, MACD entries. You can check that out also and uh, in this uh, review I'm going to talk about uh, the MACD itself. It's an oscillator, you can find it under oscillators, uh, indicators, oscillators and MACD. I have a custom one here with uh, different colors so I can see uh, which one's going up or down but you can see that based on the candlesticks. There are obviously different type of strategies uh, and people have their own uh, preferences on how to use the MACD itself but for example some people only trade the crossovers obviously they don't just uh, simply enter on all crossovers but they use some form of confirmation for example looking at the charts themselves because you should do that you should take into observation the price action itself because if you don't as I've said in uh, other videos before it's not going to work for you. So for example in this case we would observe, uh, this is a five minute chart by the way, we would observe a support and then we would see that it's not holding because uh, uh, price is moving down below our line but it comes back up and we got a crossover the blue line goes above you can uh, see which one, uh, this MACD uh, setting is 13, 17 and 9 as I said, it's a custom indicator. There are other settings um, you can use. It depends on your own strategy. So as you can see, we got the crossover, the blue line crosses over, and we get uh, green spikes on the histogram and bullish candles. So, and we can see that a candle closed, this bu bullish candle closed above the support. We got a strong signal and uh, quite a distance, a small distance uh, between the two lines, which is always good, which means uh, strength in the trend. Rather than here, the, that price was still entangled, not a good signal. As we can see, price was below the support. So here, we got a good signal for uh, entering. And we could use previous history to see how many candles we would use for taking this call option. And for example, here we got one, two, three, four bullish candles in a row. And since we waited for this candle to close, that would be four uh, minus uh, one so three candles so our expiry would have been uh, here uh, and there are other ways you can use it for example let's go to the hourly time frame um, uh, some people use divergence if you don't know what it is basically divergence is that uh, when something is diverging something is different than what you uh, in this case uh, the candlesticks are going down for example but if you look at the histogram on the MACD, it's a mirror image. You see that the histogram is getting shorter, it's going up while the price is going down. So you can expect some form of breakout. So this is uh, what we call divergence. Uh, convergence would be the opposite of that. Uh, for example, here price going down, histogram is going down, so it's converging. But here it's starting to diverge. So we expect a divergence, we expect a breakout. As you can see, if we would move along, let's put a line here just to show you. Uh, on this candlestick here, uh, which broke out of our trend line, we got also a crossover. And uh, again, we got the histogram bars going up. But obviously, if you were using some form of uh, price action analysis, you would see again, once again, uh, just like the previous trade I showed you on the five minute uh, chart here on the hourly you would see we had a support that was holding here and you could see it's holding because you see the divergence already and you see the crossovers so you would wait for a confirmation and uh, you could have had an earlier uh, trade an earlier entry uh, already here uh, to this target and you could have also made a second entry after uh, this line got broke, broken. 
So as you can see, this is the divergence strategy. Uh, I'll show you the crossover strategy. So it's pretty much up to you. Uh, we have some articles, great articles about moving average convergence divergence tool. Uh, I will put all the links below. I'm going to put the link to the previous um, video I made about best MACD entries. You can uh, check both of them and see which one you like the most. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.